two meme videos in a row. Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today we are going to be making Bowsette. Before I get started with today's video, I did want to mention that this is a, um, a female figure and in order to do modeling, you usually have to model them naked first before you add clothing and stuff like that. Um, I don't add any details to the naked body, so there's no like genitalia or anything like that. But if you have younger sensitive eyes, you might want to skip this. Um, it pretty much looks like a Barbie doll, so up to you. Now, I actually started modeling this one back when it was relevant, so what was that, a year and a half ago? Was it Was it longer? Was it two years ago? No, I bet it was about a year and a half. But about a year, no, because it was about last October, I think. Yeah. So it's been a little over a year. Um, we were planning on getting this out in time for it to be relevant, but uh, whatever, life happens. So I know that this is just kind of a meme model and we're kind of presenting it as such, but um, it was actually the model that I think I've put the most work into uh, to date and um, I'm pretty proud of it so I don't really know what that's worth but I think I talk too much in these videos anyway so I'm just gonna kick off the modeling footage now. So I started out this model like every other model I do in ZBrush and I use Z-Spheres to just kind of get the general shape of the body um, and that allows me to uh, make it look human and pose it a little bit easier before I start adding in all the details and stuff like that. So then after I added the Z-Spheres I converted it to a mesh and just started pushing and pulling in areas to try and get it to look more human-like and less like a tube creature. But there were two areas in particular that I spent the most amount of time on this model. And one of them you'd expect and the other probably wouldn't. The face, that's pretty obvious. You spend a ton of time modeling the face, at least I do, um, just because it's it's so difficult to get it to look just right. And I was going off of drawings of Bowsette and there were a couple different ones. There was one that I, one in particular that I drew a lot of inspiration from, but um, still converting that to a 3D printable object that looks like the cartoon did it is pretty hard but I think I eventually got there so I spent a ton of time on the face and then I also spent a ton of time on the butt and one that's because um, I've never really modeled a butt before um, I modeled like a male butt ish for one of my characters but um, not, I've never modeled a female body either and as a kid growing up I drew like DBZ characters and there isn't a female one of those until more recently so I'm very familiar with like male musculature and stuff like that but um, female stuff was a little bit harder so one it was funny looking up reference photos for this um, especially while on a live stream but two I just spent so much time getting those thighs and that butt to look right but I think I got it to look pretty good leave your best butt related comment down there so once I had the basic body shape and everything it was just time to add the details so I'll kick off that footage right now
All right, to wrap up the modeling that I did here, um, the two most difficult parts in this section were the hair, which um, I'm just not super familiar with hair. I haven't done it a lot. And it's, it's just one of those organic things that I'm not super good at. But this one was cartoony enough that I think I was able to get it pretty close. Um, and then the shell on the backpack. And this one wasn't necessarily hard. I just had to tackle it in a creative way. So first thing I created that um, hexagon shape, but I created that shape and just kind of patterned it and um, moved it into position around the thing. And then I kind of just um, started moving them and meshing them together in order to create that, that shell shape. And then I could go around and add spikes to each one of the little hex tile things. I also added a dress just because I thought that really kind of fit the character and it looked pretty cool. Um, but I did include a version of the file without the dress because I know some people out there will enjoy the uh, finer aspects of this model. Not gonna judge, that's all I'm saying. Now that the model was done, I just needed to export it from ZBrush and I spent quite a bit of time splitting the model pieces and stuff so I could print them on resin and they would um, slot together. And I still haven't done that a lot in ZBrush, so um, the cuts are a little messy, but I, they worked in the end. We printed her completely in resin. Most of it was done on the P.O. Poly Moai and I believe just the torso piece was done on the Elugu Mars. And the prints came out looking really, really good. I designed it so the splits kind of happen in natural areas. So like along the pant line or, um, you know, she's got the things on her arms that'll happen right there. So that way it'll hide the seam as much as possible. They're still there, but it definitely helps to mitigate how uh, pronounced it is. So then I handed it off to Chelsea and she did a bit of cleanup just because there were some little lines here and there that we wanted to touch up. Then she primed it up and worked her magic while painting this thing.
here she is. Um, and this is how big we printed her. We wanted to print it pretty big. I believe this was the biggest we could make it using our resin machines, um, the way that I split it up. And you can see we opted for the no dress version. We actually have a smaller version with the dress, but I believe this was actually Chelsea's idea. I know none of you are gonna believe me on that, but I think this actually turned out looking really, really good. I, Chelsea did an amazing job with the paint. It makes it feel a lot more substantial, I guess. That's probably not the right word. But a lot of the things we print are like tiny and this just, it feels more cool to me. But I think it's also cool in miniature form. We did print a miniature of Bowsette that I think I'm gonna throw at my D&D parties because I think that'd be hilarious. If you wanna print one of these for yourself, I will put links to the files down in the description. Um, it is free, but if you wanna help support the channel, there is an option to donate, but that's just um, whatever you feel this is worth. But if you print one of these out, um, tweet us a picture. We'd love to see them. I wanna see a race for the biggest Bowsette butt. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. Um, if you wanna get your hands on some CCT merch like the one I'm wearing right now, there will be links to our Teespring right down there. Well, thank you for watching, guys, and until next time, Keep creating.